Well, we're getting all the information that we need from our neighbor, Bill. Because Clayton and Matt and Caitlin are all going to go fishing in Seward this morning. They're going to leave here in about an hour. And hopefully they can get some red salmon. I'm ready to go. I'm actually ready to eat fish. That's what I'm ready to eat. Have fun. I will. Wish me luck. All right. Good luck. And we are gonna do the not so fun, but necessary things like laundry. pretty flowers growing in our woods and right now this is blooming and it's the high bush cranberry and they're a lot of fun to eat throughout the summer when you're walking through the woods and they're just kind of growing all over in here it's just so pretty to see the white and these little white ones are the little red that Valerie picked last summer. So fun to see them in this stage where last summer we just seen all berries. This summer we can see the greenery and then the flowers and soon there'll be little red berries all over it. I've been spending a little bit of time out here watering the gardens. I still have one more to do. I got my two buckets of water that I went and got from my neighbors. I got the little ones all watered and covered up with plastic. I actually fed them some rabbit compost tea. And now I'm gonna finish doing this and maybe hilling things up a little bit so that when I water it, it stays in the little trough. folding the rest of the laundry or if I really just need to get some a little bit more done our friends gave us some red raspberries and they really need to get planted so I'm gonna plant them here it's probably not the most ideal place but it's better than drying up here comes my little gatherers oh I guess Ezra's gonna grab all of them <laughs> we learned right away when we got to Alaska is that their Walmart bags are like amazing super amazing we just carried raspberries from our friend's house in these Walmart bags and they're still like I could probably clean them up and keep using them they're super tough and it's really convenient and while I was gone Matt made two more batches of our rabbit compost tea and now I've I've strained it out and that's just a little tiny bit I took three of these things I think full of the old poop 
out and I dumped it on the old raspberry bushes, the poop. I don't know if there's anything left nutritionally in them. And now I have this beautiful stuff to put on my new raspberry bushes. How did you like the trip down to Seward? It was really good. It was, it was really long. It was. It was, really good. was it pretty? Very pretty. Yeah. Clayton, was it long and boring? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. Not the whole time, though. No. Did you see any whale? No, we didn't. Did you see any animals? Yep. We seen moose. How many? We seen a moose and a calf on the way in, and then a, a moose on the way out. How big was the calf? It was a newborn. So it was tiny? It was small. So how was Seward? Wet. It was just wet. There was Rain. barely any fish. We didn't catch anything. But near the end, there was a, a fish that was just flopping around, jumping in, out of the water right in front of us. Really? No one right in front of a circle of like six of us, and none of us could catch it. <laughs> it's like we were swarming him, and he was like, ah, ah. <laughs> so he was just teasing you? Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, he jumped from me to Caitlin from a guy. He jumped right in front of him, I seen. Yeah. There was... There were seals, we think. Oh. They were deaf. Out yeah. further into the gulf okay. than we were. So you could see their heads popping up out of the water and going back down. We never got a clear view of them, so it could have been otters. I okay. Don't know. Yeah. Exactly what kind of animal it was. So you didn't see any bear? No. None. No mountain sheep or mountain nope. goat? Planes. Awesome. Airplanes, a lot of airplanes. Mm -hmm. A few boats. There was a large tour boat, cruise ship. How many of them did you see? I saw one. one. I saw one. And there was a barge yeah. or something way out. Way out. I think it was loading up or unloading because it never really moved. I see. Well, I think we're going to call it a night. It should be prime fishing time right now with it being high tide here in Seward, but out of the hundreds of people, I just stood on the bank and watched for the last 20 minutes and not one fish. So I think it's goodbye Seward. Hello, bucket of chicken. Here's the fisherman. There she goes. That does we not look like chicken, fish. Not fish. We caught some chicken. We snagged some chicken. No good. Ugh. It was a rough day, huh? It was fun. But no but fish. Yeah, no fish. There just was not 
There was no fish there. Hmm. I felt one. I was standing there like this, pulling, and all of a sudden I felt whoosh, right between my legs. So there was uh. some kind of fish swam between my legs, but maybe maybe five percent of the people there went home with a fish. It was pretty poor. Pretty poor fishing. Well, we ended up right where we started, around the fire. No fish, got a lot of gardening done, and it was a good day.